Dear students, in the last video we have discussed about the 30 practice questions of simple present. How to make positive into negative, negative into yes no. Okay, so in this video we will uh, discuss about the uses of present progressive or present continuous. Okay, so let's start the first use. Uh, action happening at the moment of speaking. That means at the time of speaking, the action which is happening at the time of speaking, at the time of Speaking, I am teaching grammar now. I am teaching grammar now. That means here, this is the action which is going here. That means it may be started in the past, but now it is now continuing and it will be ended in afterwards. It will be ended afterwards. Okay, which is the action which is happening at the time of speaking. I am teaching grammar now. That is. Present continuous, okay. My mother is cooking there. That means this is also present progressive, which is happening at the time of speaking. She is learning the lesson. My sister is watching TV. Okay. I'm teaching, is cooking, is learning, is watching. That means the action we use present continuous. To indicate the action which is happening at the time of speaking, at the time of speaking, we use present tense where the action was started before the moment of speaking. Before the moment of speaking means we use present tense when the action was started before the moment of speaking. That means the action may be started before, just before, but now it is still continuing and it may be ended. In the coming days, okay, maybe after words, before the moment of speaking, uh, is not yet finished, not yet, not yet finished. That means I am teaching grammar now. That means the action is still continuing. It has not ended. Finished what is still in progress and will be finished afterwards. Clear? The first use is action happening at the moment of speaking. Clear? The next use is action happening about this time but not necessarily happening at the moment of speaking. That means there are some action which takes some days or to complete the work it takes some time. Okay, so take an example. Mr. John is writing a novel. That means Mr. John has started writing a novel but to complete a novel it will take some time, it will take some days. Yes or no? It will take some days. That means this action is going on, but it is not uh, at, uh, happening at the time of speaking. That means Mr. John is, is not spending all the 24 hours in writing. Okay? That means uh, though not writing at the time of speaking. That means it will take some time. It will maybe take 2 or 3 months. It may be take 4 or 5 months. That means the action is still going on. And it is may not be happening at the time of speaking. Okay. Then next, my grandparents are building a new house. Building a house, it will take it, it will take more days. That means the action is going on. It has it may be started in the past and it is also now. It is also now continuing. That means at the time of speaking. This action is not going on, but at the moment. Action happening about this time, action that is happening about this time, but not necessarily happening at the time of speaking. That means the building a house will take more days. Okay, my grandparents are building a new house. Are building a new house means it will take some days. Okay, he is studying medicine. He is studying medicine means now he is spending his time in medicine. That means it may not be necessarily at the time of speaking, but this is continuing. This, this action is, go, goes on. This action is continuing, but not at the time of speaking. Clear? Mr. John, uh, then I am learning classical music. I am learning classical music. This is also same. That means this action is, is now continuing, but not at the time of speaking. Clear? Time of speaking and the action which is uh, now go, goes on. That means it will end in the near future. Clear? The next use is 
uh, to express a planned action for the future okay to express a planned action for the future in the uh, previous video i have also told about uh, to express the action which is going to happen in the near future we use simple present and present progressive and also solve but in this case we will use present progressive because we are learning now the usage of present continuous okay he is going to delhi tomorrow he is going to delhi tomorrow here he is going tomorrow okay he is going to delhi that means this is a future here present continuous tense is used to express the future action here he is going to delhi when tomorrow we are visiting we are visiting agra next week that means we are in here we use present continuous to indicate the action in the near future next week i am meeting the prime uh, principal i am meeting the principal tomorrow i am meeting this is also in progressive form to indicate the action near future tomorrow clear i am meeting the principal tomorrow that means here is going are visiting are meeting are playing these are in the progressive form which progressive in the present progressive clear present progressive form or or tense are used to indicate the future action to express a plan action for the future here they are playing a match this evening this evening means this is the future this evening is future time okay future time this is our future time tomorrow next week tomorrow then this evening these are the present progressive used to indicate the action near future okay the next use is uh, which always constantly regularly to express a repeated action for the sense of disapproval disapproval means anger disgust irritates okay so what is always disturbing me that means this, this is the disapproval disapproval so what is always disturbing me this is the present continuous constantly regularly always to express a repeated action that shows disapproval anger disgust okay this dog is always barking at the stranger this dog is always barking is always barking this man is constantly shouting is constantly shouting at his children the shopkeeper is not opening the shop regularly the shopkeeper is not opening the shop regularly okay so here the which the with the word adverb like always constantly regularly this is the adverb of frequency okay to express a repeated action repeated means he is always that means not for the first time he is always disturbed the dog is always barking at the stranger that means always means not for the first time he is always the dog is always okay always this man is constantly shouting the shopkeeper is not opening the shop regularly okay the next it is uh, present continuous is used for the changing situation for the changing situation the price of petrol is rising day to day here the price of petrol is rising the price of petrol okay price of petrol is rising day to day the population of india is increasing very fast that means here changing situation changing situation it may be uh, in negative way it may be in positive way negative or positive here negative means this is negative the price of petrol is rising day to day this is also negative the population of india is increasing very fast the population of india is increasing okay the weather is getting colder weather is getting colder her health is improving better her health is improving that means here it is used in positive sense but this in this year the price of petrol is rising day to day the population of india is increasing very fast the weather is getting colder okay her health is improving better so we also use present continuous for the changing situation that some changes happen if we compare to the past okay here the last use is uh, present continuous is used for a temporary situation derived from the habitual activity okay temporary situation derived from habitual activity derived from habitual activity means here 
I go to school by bus. That is my that is my habitual activity. I go to school by bus every day. Every day I go to school by bus. But today I am going to school on foot. So here temporary action is. This is a temporary action. Okay. Here this is a temporary. This is habitual. Okay. This is habitual. Here I go to school by bus every day. This is my habit. But today I am going to school on foot. This is temporary action and this is habitual action. Next, this train usually runs on time. This train usually, you know, we use upon, sometimes, always, never, also for simple present. This train usually runs, usually runs on time. Apparently, the train is running extremely late today. That is temporary. Today, okay, today, the strangely, the train is running extremely late today. That means, this is the regular time of train. That means, always come on time. Always comes on time. But strangely, surprisingly, the train is running extremely late today. That is temporary. That is temporary and that is the usual time. Usual means on time. It never rains in October. It never rains in October. That is usually action. Okay. It never rains in October, but this year, this year, that is temporary. Not every year, but this year. Every year means it will be a habit. It will be a general truth. It will be a general truth. It always rains in October in every year. That is that will be a regular action. But here, it never rains in October. This is regular. But temporary action is this is regular. Temporary temporary action here is. But this year, but this year it is raining even in October. This is temporary action. This is temporary action. So students, these are the most six commonly uses of present progressive or present continuous. The students, if you have not watched the, uh, the previous video, uh, 30 questions already discussed uh, for simple present. Uh, negative, yes, no, positive, interrogative, there are various 30 questions are discussed in the previous video. I will provide uh, the previous video link in the description box. You can also watch this again. Okay, thanks.